thank you, Dr. Bhairavi. Uh, good morning to everybody. As uh, greetings from Debrugger. So we'll be talking. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Please continue your audible. Uh, okay. So uh, I'll be talking about the uh, OCT angiography, which is a new paradigm for glaucoma management. So regarding OCT angiography, the modality in case uh, either as or SS OCT uses light interference of the surface of the moving red blood cells of the blood vessels. And so that is how it can accurately depict vessels through different segmented areas of the eye. And it is also a lapping of microsurgery various types of retina as a choroid. And a, a high three-dimensional evaluation of microcirculation of optic nerve and area can be provided by this retinal uh, OCT angiography. And uh, so it can give us a high repeatability and reproducibility. Uh, so that is how it is a very important nowadays but why this OCT in glaucoma? So we already have having so many tools for glaucoma management, uh, like OCT and uh, automated perimetry, but all are having some uh, problems. And uh, this OCT angiography uh, is mainly it's, uh, valuable because it has got the blood flow uh, that, uh, that uh, vascular theory, which is uh, related to this uh, glaucoma development, that can be established by this OCDA. And we all know that there is a correlation between ocular blood flow and glaucomatous damage. And so uh, inadequate blood flow actually plays a very pivotal role in apoptosis of retinal ganglion cell death. And that is how this uh, glaucoma progresses. And uh, there are some various vascular plexuses in the retina and choroid, and this alteration in these vascular plexuses have a major role in pathophysiology of the glaucoma. And with this OCA and angiography, actually by that we can have a not only qualitative evaluation, but also quantitative measurement of the ocular perfusion. And thereby you can not only have a good idea about the uh, the, what is going on in, in the glaucoma patient, as also it can help us in the management of the cases. Uh, if you compare OCTA with OCT, then we can find that OCT can only detect the lost ganglion cell, but OCT angiography can detect both dysfunctional as well as lost ganglion cell. So before we uh, there is a loss of ganglion cell, OCT angiography can uh, detect that whether this ganglion cell is going to die or not. So that is a very important issue. So, uh, so other, uh, again, the OCT angiography parameters correlated better with the visual field parameters as uh, in OCT angiography, you don't have floor effects, uh, which is uh, always there in case of OCT, uh, OCT. So OCT angiography has an additional value, both in the very early as well as very late stage of glaucoma. Uh, coming to the OCT angiography scans, uh, unlike the OCT, we don't have, uh, we don't uh, want to have this optic nerve head scans. Rather, we want to have peripapillary scans because in optic nerve heads, there are so many major blood vessels which can obscure the uh, capillaries actually. So that is why optic nerve head scans is not good in case of optic uh, OCT angiography. Rather, we go for peripapillary angiography of 4.5 into 4.5 millimeter scan. And again, macular scan also is a, a, a very valuable in case of OCT angiography. Um, and we, in case of macular angiography, we, 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 can, we should have a, a bigger scan of six to six millimeter because we know the, the peripheral part of the uh, uh, nerve fibers only gets affected in the glaucoma. So that is why we, we want a, a bigger macular scan. So in these scans, what we should look for? 
So uh, ideally, actually, what is we should look for in the uh, OCT angiography is the two things. One is the vessel dent dens density and the capillary density. So vessel density is nothing but the percent area occupied by the vascular pixels in, in the end phase angiogram. And capillary density can be measured by excluding the larger vessels. So these two, both vascular density and capillary density has an excellent reproducibility. And that is how it, it is uh, OCT actually uh, scores over the other, uh, other tools. And, uh, but with OCT angiography, we can also measure the flow of blood flow actually, but blood flow measurement is not a good uh, tool for us because it has got poor reproducibility. Rather, we should go for vessel density and the capillary density. So, uh, so what are the plexus affected in this uh, glaucoma? So in case of peripapillary region, it is a nerve fiber layer plexus, which is primarily affected. But in case of macular region, both nerve fiber layer plexus and the ganglion cell la layer plexus are affected. And these two uh, plexuses combined together, they are called as a super, uh, superficial vascular complex. And if you focus in the superficial vascular complex, it enhances the visualization of the focal glaucomatous defect. And uh, to depict this uh, different vascular plexuses of the retina, these are the, uh, this is the NFL uh, plexus, and this is GSL plexus, this is ICP, this is the DCP. And this uh, I, uh, NFL plexus and GCPL uh, that combines to form the superficial vascular complex, whereas the ICP and DCP, that they com uh, combine together as known as a deep vascular complex. So in the peripapillary scan, uh, we, we uh, get this uh, six sectors. So this is superior uh, temporal, this is superior nasal, temporal, nasal, inferior temporal, and inferior nasal. So in this uh, six sectors, this is a uh, vessel density is uh, actually calculated and the density percent is given. And uh, usually in normal cases, 55 to 65% of the density is uh, uh, with what we get. And obviously in the temporal sector, we get the uh, more uh, density. So like this, in case of OCT, we have this uh, uh, TSNIT, Curve, uh, so we can get same thing in the peripapillary scan also. So if you compare the peripapillary scans uh, of a healthy uh, individual with a glaucoma individual, then we can get into the uh, this upper picture is the actually glaucomatous uh, peripapillary scan. So here you can see that uh, density is very less, and uh, in the color code also we can see more of the uh, blue. But uh, in case of uh, healthy, that, that is the, in the lower uh, that, uh, picture, you can see this is a, a good uh, capillary vessel, uh, vessel density is there. And so we get so, many, so much of yellow and red zones here. So that is how we can get know that which one is a glaucoma, which one is a healthy one. So likewise here also we can get uh, uh, this one is healthy, this one is glaucoma suspect, this one is glaucoma, uh, where uh, you can see that there is a loss of uh, vessel density is less in case of glaucoma. Uh, it's a borderline in case of glaucoma suspect, where it is normal in case of a healthy individual. So if you, and good thing about the OCT angiogram there, if you see the superficial vessel complex angiogram here, uh, if you see the dotted uh, yellow dotted zone, that is uh, where you can see that uh, there is a vessel density is less, and that exactly actually uh, can seen with the same thing in the uh, ganglion cell complex thickness. So exactly here also you can see the uh, blue zone, uh, blue coded area. So that is uh, where the thickness is very less. So. So the thickness is less where there, where there is a density, vessel density is also very less. Another good thing about the visual uh, OCT angiogram is, is that, so we can have visual field simulation. 
so that is a good thing coming up in the ocd angiograph and uh, it can simulate the visual field by using sector wise peripapillary nfl ocd results sir uh, your time is up please sir, conclude the presentation okay okay so so we can have visual field simulation and in case of uh, here uh, uh, no floor effect is there visual field uh, uh, so yeah, that is a good thing about that and we are having some limitation of motion artifact projection artifact somebody does near uh, invasive imaging modality for assessment of glaucoma particularly of very early and uh, advanced glaucoma it is patient friendly and consistent reproducible results can be there and has it has got some limitation but with newer developments uh, in the process it may be a tool of the future thank you